Globally, energy demand is forecast to increase by 30% over the next 20 years. Increases in energy use, though, come at a cost. We need to make sure we minimise the impacts of climate change and keep carbon emissions to levels that will limit global temperature rises. We need to balance the need for energy with land use for food and water. We also need to ensure that developing the energy systems of tomorrow don't consume valuable resources such as metals and minerals that we extract from the earth. At Manchester, we have a diverse range of energy research. We've got people working on energy networks, electricity, gas and heat. We've got colleagues working on new materials, quantum dots being used in solar cells to make them more efficient. We have colleagues who work in nuclear energy. We have the Dalton Cumbrian facility, people working on robots that can access small spaces in nuclear power stations and can inspect and maintain our nuclear infrastructure. We've got people looking at globally interconnected energy systems, the geopolitics of these, the economics of these, and how they can support global development. This is the High Voltage Lab of the University of Manchester, and in here, we can test our equipment intended for use on the electricity distribution and transmission systems. We can go from basic signs to full-scale product development, and we can really develop the solutions which are needed to make sure we can transfer more low-carbon electricity through the energy networks. I am passionate about energy being available to everybody across the world. In Manchester, we have that real ability to take new discoveries from basic science through to the development of products, services, technologies and policies that make a real difference to people's lives.